Everything together. So away and good arms, beautiful. Okay, so when we're popping the reverse bird, um, I asked my fly to pencil the feet together in a straight plank with the hips forward. Mm -hmm. So the uh, position we're trying to get to is reverse bird, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the first thing when I think about falls. You have to be really clear where we're popping. Sometimes the flyer thinks, oh, we're popping the back bird. Mm -hmm. So that could be a totally bad, you know, yeah. miscommunication. So I like to walk things first before I pop them. The walk here is actually harder, I think, than the pop because of the awkward um, balance. But we're going here. I'll lower this left leg to reach her. Mm -hmm. I'm going there, right? Okay. That's where we're trying to get to. Um, personally, I think that this pop isn't so dangerous because we're popping from an inversion into a, a plank. So if there's a fall, likely it'll be on her feet here, yeah. really fast. She could also yeah. fall forward yeah. anytime we do a reverse bird. So when Zach, if he's falling forward here, Zach, go. you've got to protect yourself. Bring your foot down, your hands down. Because it's very little. I want to be gentle with you. Oh, <laughs> this part of me is just like... Hitting the ground is like a massage. <laughs> a massage. Um, you want, there's very little Andrew can do beyond his feet to catch you. So reverse bird is dangerous for that reason. Bring your feet down, your hands down. Okay, quick, and react to it. He's a juggler, that's good. He has a really good reaction. <laughs> so we'll go back to, let's jump to start this time. Two, one, beautiful. Hips forward. So I would just go straight to the pop instead of the walking. It's a little awkward, but you, at least, Zach, you were clear, be really clear where you're going to, okay? Okay, so what I do is have her push her hips forward and start looking between my, um, what are these called, shins. So what that happens is as she's looking forward, her legs start to fall. And only when she's about to drop down do you pop. Okay. Because the momentum is already there. Two, one. There, sorry. So I caught, totally I caught right here on her core. Uh -huh. So you want to catch lower there here, where the uh, balls of the, the balls of the hips are on the middle of the foot. Okay. So that makes it you have to push off the arms a little more. Okay. And it's easier for you, the flyer to support this than here, because here her legs were planked down. You want to catch a little lower here, okay. so that the arms can take some of the force and nice absorption of the weight and then back up. So a little lower than I did. There, let's go back to star. Arms here. And then up. Watch the timing, timing's key, right? Mm -hmm. You, if you're popping when she's still in a straight position, she's going straight up and down. You wanna wait till your flyer planks, the, uh, brings the feet together, pushes the hips forward. Put in. Put in. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hips forward, looks through the legs. And the moment you feel like they're about to drop, then you kick and then catch. That makes sense. So the momentum is already coming down. Mm -hmm. So there's no way for her to fall, them to fly to fall on their head because they're already about to land on their feet. Pretty much rotating. Yeah. Okay. And then once you get that timing down good, then you can start doing higher and higher pops. Okay. 